leave her in the past for a better you. Don't go back to her, at least for a period of time. I see a lot of people who get in a relationship with a girl and I almost fell into this trap as well. And you try to go straight back after her after it doesn't go right. And you don't give yourself truly time to heal and get better because you feel pain and you feel lonely and you feel like you're not okay without that person. Now, it's important when a relationship goes wrong, when things go wrong, when you lose someone you love and you adore, it's important to take some time for yourself and feel the full brunt of that pain. And this sounds harsh to say, this sounds harsh to say, but it's important to say because you need to feel that emotion and that sadness from that because it makes you realize that things can go wrong. It makes you realize life's not a fairy tale. It makes you realize that if you don't have fully control of a situation or a person, things will go wrong with them. That's the way of life, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. And even if this goes wrong, it allow you to value another relationship or a girl's company better in the future because now you value it a lot more. Overall, it will allow you to value it more in the future. And it's important for you to feel all that pain and all that sadness from it. And the reason it's important for you to feel the sadness and the pain from it is it allows you to realize something was wrong. It allows you to realize something's gone. And it allows you to realize that you need to make some changes now because you don't want to still feel in that pain and you don't want to get worse from that pain. You want to understand it and try to push yourself forward during that and make yourself into a better version. And then you don't know who you're going to attract at that point. So I feel like I'm at the point now went through something three or four months ago. Didn't go the way I planned. I absolutely adored this girl, but it went wrong. And I had to face all that pain and all that sadness on myself. But I made a decision, even though I was in mad pain, felt terrible. I felt genuinely horrible about myself and sad about myself and down and days seemed dark. I made the decision to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and understand where I want to be and who I want to be and start working towards that. And now I'm two, three months down the line from it. I feel excellent and I feel amazing in myself now. And this is proof that it works when you put your energy into the right things. If you put your energy into drinking, drugs, binge watching, binge eating, all these things that aren't going to help you during that, you're going to regret the decisions in the future. Whereas if you put it into your mental health, start meditating, start journaling about your problems and where you want to be, who you want to be, what actually went wrong, understand the situation, start writing about what went wrong and how you feel and then truly start understanding it why you feel this way and all this and start understanding it and then start writing down your goals and who you want to be where you want to be what you want to do start using that pain that you feel in order to work towards that and almost use that thing that went wrong that relationship that went wrong as spite and anger in order to push yourself forward during that because then after a while you're going to lose that spite and anger towards that person but you're also going to be in a much positive position that's how i feel now i've lost that spite and anger towards that person and that sadness of it. But now I feel amazing in myself and I feel like I'm up here now. And then when I was with her, down around here and I feel like I've just got up another level, I feel excellent. And I want you lot to be in this position, especially if you've just been through a breakup or you've been through something that's went wrong recently. I want you lot to know that you need to put your effort into the right things during this. You need to put your effort into things that will benefit you during this because you on the side of drugs, alcohol all the time, overconsumption of food, making your physique worse, making your mental health worse, it's not going to help you. And therefore you're going to feel worse and worse and worse and worse. You're going to regret them decisions in the future. It's not going to allow you to truly get better. I say you can dwell in it a bit, dwell in it a bit, dwell in it for a little bit, a few days, a week, if you have to, but also promise yourself you're going to learn from this and make it into a positive. Promise yourself that and start understanding your thoughts and where you can be during this and who you can actually be during this because that is truly powerful. And then understand, set little goals during that. Set little goals of what you wanna be, where you wanna be. A certain little goal that you know would take a bit of hard work, but you can achieve it. Set that goal, work towards it, and then you achieve it. Then you feel a bit better about yourself. And then just keep doing that time and time again and put all these little goals into a towards a big goal. And then you're gonna feel exceptional. When you've literally worked on your physique after that, and you've went hard in the gym, you're working on something you love doing and that's going a little bit well, you're getting a tiny bit of success in it, then your social skills and everything's got better because you've had to actually learn to speak to people and talk to people and your confidence has got higher and higher and higher because you keep achieving new little things and new little goals that you set. You're going to feel so amazing about yourself. And also when you put effort into your mental health, 
by meditating and journaling and getting out in nature and working out, you're gonna feel so exceptional. And you're gonna feel so amazing. And that's how I feel now. And I hope you can feel this through the camera because I truly mean this. I feel excellent, man. I feel excellent after something that was so negative and so bad towards me that crushed me. And now I feel amazing. And that's what I'm trying to say to you lot. And I even said to you lot around that period of time when it was happening about it. Even though I did believe it, I didn't know I'd feel this good after a while. And after another year or after another six, seven months of me being consistent in myself and who I want to be and where I want to be, who knows where I could be? Who knows where I could be in my mind, in my body, in how I feel about myself? Who knows where I could be in YouTube? Who knows where I could be in all sorts? And who knows where the growth and where the pain from that scenario and what forced me to change may have done in order for me to be the better version of myself. And it's important for you lot to realize this, man. Almost fall forward, fall forward, don't fall backwards. Fall with it, fall to be better, fall to make yourself better. And after a while, you start gaining more options, more girls wanting to see you and all this, like it's happened to me. And then you can choose, or you can choose to stay away a bit from it like I am. Just stay a bit away from it and truly work on you and who you want to be because you know you can just get more and more and more and better and better and better and after a while you'll be attracting real high quality good girls and better than the ones you broke up with so it's important for you lot to realize this honestly you've got this understand that you can actually turn this into a positive understand that if you put this into the right things if you put this pain and this sadness that you're in into the right things it can truly have an amazing and positive effect on your life in a few months time yet alone six months a year time two year three year yet alone that amount of time frame it can have an amazing and positive effect on you where you look back with gratitude and happiness in who you are and who you was then in comparison to now because you realize how broken you were then to how amazing you feel now and that is truly truly amazing and that has such a positive effect on your mental health and on your self-worth and on your self-belief and on every area in your life because now you feel like you're limitless now you feel like you're genuinely limitless and it's a beautiful feeling and i'm just so grateful for the things going wrong for me in order for me to feel how i am now and that's something that makes me feel amazing i'm so grateful and i'm so happy for that and it just feels amazing man. it feels amazing so i inspire you lot if you're going through a breakup or something's went wrong even if it's fresh, understand where it went wrong, understand who you want to be, journal about it, meditate, get out of nature, work out, build your physique up, start eating better, start expanding your mind, listen to audiobooks, reading, all sorts like that. Start expanding your mind and changing your habits and then start working towards who you want to be and that's going to have a truly, truly positive effect on you in the future. I hope you lot got a lot of value in this video. And there's going to be more content coming soon. Thank you.